Hi, my name is Nikita Polikov. I'm a program manager and PowerPages customer advisory team at Microsoft. Hi, my name is Anamin Good. I am a program manager at the PowerPages customer advisory team as well. Hi, I'm Deepti. I'm a group engineering manager leading PowerPages platform. So Deepti, as an administrator, I'm new to PowerPages. Can you tell me more information about PowerPages? Yeah, Nikita, PowerPages is now live. It is an enterprise-grade, low-code SaaS platform that enables administrators and makers to create, host, and administer rich external business websites. The platform empowers both citizen developers and professional developers of organizations and governments to create and launch bespoke external-facing business applications easily, rapidly, and securely. That sounds like a completely new capability in Power Platform. You know, I haven't had to manage external facing applications yet. So are there any security features that can help me uh, feel better about this product? Of course, when, when, building, when building external facing applications, security is one of the core aspects. And in fact, that's the differentiation that Power Pages offers because as a platform, it offers security as a core customer promise. So when you're building part pages, there are a bunch of security capabilities that are now live that you as an admin can go leverage. And I want to talk about one of the notable security capabilities, which is site visibility. Site visibility enables makers to control and govern access of their sites when it is in development phase. Makers during their development stages can mark sites as private and what that means is it allows only organizational users or internal makers and in organizations to have access to private sites. And as a maker, when I feel confident of taking my changes live and publishing them externally, then is when I choose to set my site visibility as public, which then makes my site live to external audiences. Now that sounds fantastic. So, so I like these things private. Do my makers start with their sites public and I need to help them make them private? How does it work? That's a great question, Nikita. By default, all new sites created on the Pages platform are private. And only when a maker is confident in their journey of creating their site is when they can choose to make it public. No, that's fantastic. Now, I, I've heard that we have a few sites already live in our organization. Do those get set to private? Do I need to worry or go help those teams right away? Not really. So the way we've thought about this feature is all new uh, tenants, when they create sites, their sites are private, but all existing sites continue to have a default tenant level setting that enables admins to choose what is the default that they want for their makers in their organization. So as a tenant admin, I can choose the defaults for my makers on whether the site is private by default or public by default. That's fantastic. Um, now, it's just not just me and my administration team. Can I help delegate the capability to control site visibility to other administrators or other project teams within my organization? Absolutely. So there, is, there are a bunch of governance capabilities that come with site visibility with which admins can extend permissions or privileges to makers who can then change the site visibility from private to public and vice versa. These settings are in fact configurations in, in the new Power Pages Admin Center experience, and they are called Managed Site Visibility Governance Settings. Wonderful. So I love site visibility and how it allows me to understand that it, you know, that the sites are private by default. These projects, before we get a chance to review them, I can delegate my access. That's fantastic. You know, as I start to think about what to, what I can solve with Power Pages, if I'm building an internal facing uh, website for my employees, um, I'm, can I use site visibility to control access to my employees to the site? Well, you cannot. You should not. Site visibility is not a way to extend your site to internal HR teams or internal departments for actual usage. Site visibility's role is to enable Fusion, fusion teams to come together 
and build the site together. So if you want another maker to collaborate with you on the site, you can then share the site with that specific maker and then you both can continue to contribute to the site. What this capability is not is a way to expose the site just to internal audiences. Well, that makes sense. Thank you. So that's pretty awesome, Dipti. Um, what are some of the other security features that we have to help protect the site? That's a great question, Donovan. So we have a capability which is called turnkey integration with web application firewalls or WAFs as we commonly know them. Web application firewalls sit on the edge of the network and they provide centralized protection and security from common vulnerabilities and threats such as the OWASP or Open Web Application Security Project Top 10 Security Vulnerabilities. Power pages can be integrated with any WAF provider as of today, but we also offer a turnkey integration for all admins to enable a Microsoft managed WAF with each of your production power pages sites. And this capability can be light, can be lit up with a simple turnkey button on the power pages admin center experience. With WAF, an admin or, or, or administrator can actually protect your site from a wide variety of security threats and what comes enabled by default with WAF is 40 plus Azure managed rule sets that prevent malicious actors from attacking your site. That's amazing. Thank you for that explanation. Um, but I do have one question though. So I don't have WAF enabled. Uh, am I not protected? Um, what, what happens then? So by default, Park Pages offers a robust security model using authentication, authorization, identity provider configuration and management, which to a large extent keep the site protected. But as a SaaS offering, we really highly encourage all our admins and makers to explore WAF because it is one of the core security capabilities that can keep your site protected at all times. Because the security landscape is such, the threats landscape is such that there are new threats being discovered every day. Uh, and then WAF is a capability that builds on the richness of Azure that keeps your sites protected from the new security threats that keep emerging. That's amazing. Um, are there any requirements to enable uh, WAF at all? Yeah. So there is a configuration called content enabling content delivery networks and content delivery networks sit again on the edge of the networks and they provide geographical proximity to servers that serve content uh, for web applications, thereby making them uh, making the requests really fast. So they enable applications to really hyperscale. So in order to enable WAF, you first need to enable CDN or content delivery network on Power Pages. You could do that by, by the flip of a button on the Pages admin experience. Uh, and once you have CDN enabled, you can then enable WAF as a next step. And the reason we do that, do it this way, is because WAF builds on, on Azure front door, uh, which is one of the capabilities that offers content delivery networks by default. That's amazing. That's actually really cool. Um, one question though, when you say CDN, uh, what do you mean by that? Um, wh what is the CDN and what are the benefits of that uh, when it comes to Power Pages? So given Power Pages are websites that are external facing, they are subject to very different traffic patterns. For example, there, there could be a Power Pages site uh, which is run by a government that uses it for vaccine registrations or a flash sale or some government event where all citizens need to go register or, or look for information, ticket booking. These are examples where your application is subjected to burst traffic patterns. And that's where content delivery networks can be extremely useful. Because content delivery networks take the content closer to the user who is trying to access it. So in this case, if a site, Power Pages site, comprises of several files, which are, let's say, JavaScript files or images or uh, PNGs or, or, you know, web files, 
What content delivery networks do is they keep those files and host those files in close geographical proximity to end users. So when users request for those files, the request is served faster. So we call that hyperscale. So essentially, CDN or content delivery networks enable your application to scale to burst traffic patterns. That's amazing. So it looks like a content delivery network really does improve the performance of a site that I may be building. Um, one other thing that I want to bring up, am I sensitive to data protection? Does this copy my data out of my region? Do you mind um, expanding upon that for me? Not really. So content delivery networks today, like we, we have CDN integration enabled in part pages for anonymous web files, which means that all those content uh, which you have, which were already anonymously accessible across the web is on your site is what gets cached. So there's no data data leak or, or there's no data that, that sort of moves across geographies because even with CDN, we offer or serve content from the same geography as much as possible. Because CDN integration today, just exposes anonymous web files to be served from CDN. It, it, your business data is actually protected because business data with part pages, part pages is fully GDPR compliant, which means all the business data that your site uses stays within your country's or region's geographical boundary. CDN and WAF are fantastic features. Is there an additional charge for those in the power pages licensing? Not really. If you have a production part pages site that runs on capacity licensing or the new licensing, you have these capabilities at your disposal at no additional cost. That's great. If I'm an existing customer licensed on Power Apps portals, do I need to migrate to Power Pages licensing to get access to any of these features? The capabilities that we talked about, WAF, CDN, are all available to power apps, portals, and part pages licensed customers. Awesome. That's amazing. And quick question though, where do I configure all of this? Um, if I'm a new admin, where, where would I set this up? Yeah, that's a good question, Donovan. You can set these capabilities in the new power pages admin experience. Then we have a, a fully reimagined re power pages admin experience now that provides card views for admins to configure security, run things like go live or configuration checker, detect security issues. So we provide a configuration uh, in, in the Power Pages Admin Center that provides you an ability to enable CDN with a click of a button. So it's a turnkey configuration. So even the style sheet can be protected. It, it is at the discretion of the maker to decide which files should the CDN serve because it, it just serves anonymous web files today. By anonymous, I mean these, these files are anyways openly accessible but from the internet on the site. CDN integration in Power Pages takes anonymous web files, which are part of your site's configuration and serves them from content delivery networks. What that means is, the, these, these web files include uh, style sheets, CSS files, images, PNGs, videos, if you have them integrated. And because, because of the fact that they are being served from CDN, eventually your site is fast. Like, you know, the, the responses, uh, the performance of your site improves because these files are served from closer to your, the user's geographical proximity. Dipti, that's amazing. These features are all really great. Um, but as new admins, where do they go to learn how to configure all of this? Is there an easily accessible place for them to quickly ramp up on this knowledge and to be able to perform these activities? We have a reimagined and upgraded Power Pages admin experience by bringing the Pages administration to Power Platform Admin Center. With the new pages experience, admins can get a complete site overview. They can get to know their site's health via tools like Website Checker. They can go enable turnkey integrations for security like WAF. 
and CDN. And they can also convert their sites from trial to production because some of the capabilities that we talked about, Donovan, are actually available to your production sites. We would put a link in the video that, that points to how you could discover the new Power Pages admin experience. So this is really educational. I'm new and I haven't been able to, to build external sites or I'm new to managing web applications that are external facing. These features all sound great. I'd like to continue getting educated, but I also anticipate that I might have to answer more deeper technical and security questions to my security and compliance team. Is there something that can help me get more educated or maybe materials that can help me answer those? Well, we have, we have the information you need, Nikita, because we have two very deep architecture and security papers that dive deep into the topics that I just described. There's a Power Pages architecture white paper that talks about the architecture of the Pages platform that includes authentication, authorization, reliability, performance, data governance, GDPR, and all those aspects that we discussed during uh, the interview today. There's also a security white paper that dives deep into security on the Pages platform, where we talk about defense in depth and how Power Pages is able to offer defense in depth for our makers and admins. And it also provides a bunch of tools and capabilities for admins to configure security features. Like we, we talked we talked about some of them during the interview, but there are ton, tons of more security capabilities and features that you can discover in the Power Pages security white paper. And we put links to both of these papers in the description below. Thank you so much, Dipti. We've learned so much about the security settings, how I can feel good about my makers, starting with their sites being private, how I can have all the tools and features available to me in the new Power Pages Admin Center, and then I have all of this great material to help educate myself and help provide to my team um, members who are going to be asking for this information. Thank you, Nikita. I had a great time talking to both Donovan and you. So. What are the top top things you want our, our audience to, to take away? Yeah, we talked about a bunch of security capabilities, site visibility, web application firewalls, go live checklist. I would really want all makers and admins building on part pages to go explore these capabilities. Please, please enable web application firewalls. It, it provides the first line of defense against a lot of security attacks. And there are more security tools and capabilities available in the two white papers that I talked about. Thank you, Dipti. This was a fantastic set of features for makers, administrators, and can definitely help me out with those conversations with my security or compliance team. I encourage all the viewers to click on the description and expand and get into the links that we're going to provide for to learn about the new admin center so you can get comfortable in administering your sites and visibility into what's deployed across your tenant today. The white papers are going to help you and your and your uh, respective parties understand the security options and recommendations for Power Pages, as well as the architecture of our software as a service offering of Power Pages itself. So we encourage you to learn more and get educated about the fifth member of the Power Platform, Microsoft Power Pages.